Hello, my name is Cindy. I've never done any sort of a makeup tutorial before, um, but I do have a condition called dermatillomania, and that is the um, compulsive skin picking disorder. Um, and I have shared a lot of my before and after photos online of the makeup that I am able to achieve. Um, and I've been asked several times to make a video, and I, I don't know, I'm just scared of videos. I don't like the way that I sound on camera. Um, I feel weird doing it, but I'm going to try. So please bear with me. Uh, first things first, I wanted to mention that every product that I use is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, as a person with dermatillomania, uh, of course, I go through quite a bit of makeup, probably more than the average person, especially as far as like concealer and foundation go because there's a lot more stuff I have going on that needs to be covered every single day with pretty full coverage. So cost is definitely a factor for for me and that's really why I kind of latched onto e.l.f. Cosmetics as somewhat of an early adopter. Um, I am not sponsored at all, I'm not a spokes anything for e.l.f. Cosmetics, it's just um, it's just a product line and a company that I really really like using and I've had really good results with over the years. Um, for those of you who have not heard of e.l.f., it is a drugstore line. Um, I get mine at Target. Uh, I know they're available at Shopco if you've got that in your area. Um, Hy-Vee, the grocery store, has a, a limited supply in a lot of cases. Um, I have seen it a few times at Walgreens, but it's not there consistently. And of course, they have a website. They're getting they're getting pretty big right now, so you can find everything on their website. Um, usually, if you get an order over twenty five dollars, it's free shipping. Um, anyway, for example, my uh, foundation that I use is six dollars. It usually has words on it, but it's been rolling around in my makeup bag for a while, so all the words have now worn off. Um, my Kabuki brush. Six dollars. My daily moisturizer. Uh, this one was eight dollars. Like it's it's an extremely extremely affordable affordable brand, which is very important to someone like me who really needs to use a lot of product. Um, so today, starting out, I, I have a clean face. I have nothing anything to my face except uh, make sure that it's nice and and clean. And as you can see, I've got some markings kind of in a variety of places around my face that I'm going to want to uh, get some really good coverage on today. So the first thing, uh, we're going to go back to my Daily Moisturizer by e.l.f. This one, I have pretty dry skin. So this moisturizer is a little on the thick side. If you have oily or maybe even combination skin, you might want to look at a different one. Um, just because this one might be a little much. But for me, I have very dry skin, so I, I prefer hella moisturizing. Um, so I'll do my whole face and even down my jawline into a little bit of my neck. I don't do my whole neck. Um, but the makeup that I'm going to be doing is going to be going down my jawline a little bit, so I do want to make sure that I give that area a chance with some moisture. Okay, good. Now, the next thing that I have found is very important, and I, I was not on board with this for many years. I was convinced it was just a gimmick to get us to spend more money on more products, um, but I have since seen the light, and now I am a huge, huge, huge fan of using a primer. Every day, every time I put makeup on my face, I start with a primer. Today's going to be a little bit different from my routine um, because I actually just ran out of my normal primer. I do really like this one. Uh, it is pretty light. It goes on in a very non-greasy way. Um, this one comes in two sizes. It comes as either, uh, I think it's a, a half fluid ounce or a full fluid ounce. The half fluid ounce is $6, and the full fluid ounce is $10. So this is the full fluid ounce, and I did pay $10 for this uh, a while ago. As you can see, I've had it for a while. The packaging is cracking, um, but I just ran out. 
So, I went out on a limb uh, recently, just a few days ago, and I got, for $8, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. For anyone who watches a lot of YouTube makeup tutorials, uh, I'm sure everyone's heard of Jeffree Star, duh. I, I don't watch a lot of his videos, I just, I don't watch a lot of makeup tutorials in general, um, just because of the unique makeup situation that I'm in. Most of the techniques that I see in the mainstream out there don't work as well for me as, as they probably would if I didn't have um, the unique skin issues. So I wanted to try this uh, poreless putty primer. Uh, it's been sold out forever. I had never seen it in a store. I had never seen it physically in a store. Um, I'm told that the online store was also sold out for a very, very long time. But when you open it up, it's, it's a putty. And the instructions are to apply a thin layer over your entire face. Um, so I've got some on my fingers. And I'm going to go in and just really put a layer over any portion of my face that I anticipate putting makeup. And let's be honest, that's my whole face. I, I need help. So I just go in. It does look a little um, white at first, but once you smooth it onto the skin, it really, it really blends in and sinks in. And I think it feels really, really nice. Um, it kind of gives my skin a silky feeling, which is not something that I have naturally <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. So you can imagine my uh, happy surprise to feel what this is going to do or what this does for my skin. Um, word on the street is that this primer is actually a dupe for Tatcha. Um, now again, this primer is $8. $8 for um, 0 0.74 ounces. Um, the Tatcha, according to their packaging, again, I've never, never bought it. According to their packaging is 0 0.7 ounces. So there's a smidge more in here, according to the packaging label. Um, again, $8. And the Tatcha is, I believe they said it was $52 for a primer. No, absolutely not. I, I don't pay, I pay less than $10 for my foundation. How am I going to pay $52 for a primer? Absolutely not. I was actually excited because I paid $10 for this one, which I do like, and $8 for this one. Now, to be fair, this one has one fluid, this one has one fluid ounce of stuff, and this is less than that, but it's less money. I don't know. I really like it. Um, and what we need to do after we put it on our face is just let it, let it kind of set for 30 to 45 seconds. And it does, if you feel it, it makes the skin a smidge tacky, which is what we want. That's actually, that's actually what we want. So next, I'm, I break a cardinal makeup rule when I do my makeup. And I think, um, I think it's because of the dermatillomania that I've struggled with the traditional order of makeup, like the order of operations of makeup, where you're supposed to do the primer and then go right in with the foundation and then do your concealer afterward. I need so much concealer. I need to use so much concealer on my face that to do my concealer after my foundation just leaves me with splotchy, patchy, muddy grossness. So... I've been t trying different variations over the years, and what I've really found is that um, the first makeup that I want to do after my found after my primer, excuse me, is I go right in with my concealer. And I got this one. This is the Elf HD concealer. Uh, my shade is Fair because I'm pale AF, so this one is in shade Fair, and I believe it was six dollars. Maybe four dollars, four or six dollars for this, and it's got a really fun applicator. See, hey, little dude. So what I do is I just go in, and I do. I don't 
put the product only directly on like the spot. I like to be able to blend it out around the spot. So I go in with a bit more concealer than you might normally see someone using. But again, I have a lot to cover. This needs to yeah, this needs to cover. I have I have things to do. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is I just blend it out and I don't even need to be too perfect with this. Um, I'm basically just blending out the edges of the concealer that I put on. I like to use a little stipple brush. In a pinch, I do use a, I'll use my, I'll use my finger, I don't care. But right now I'm using my, my little stipple brush. I like stipple brushes. I think that they do a good job of preventing streaking. I don't like to wipe anything. I don't like that wiping motion. I find that it gives me streaks. And who wants a streaky face? Absolutely not. So I just go into my stipple brush. I think it gives me a more natural, a more natural finish toward any of my makeup. So this is what I've got so far. And if you look on this side, you can see all of my marks, including this guy. This guy's the bane of my existence right now. Ugh. Um, this one's pretty bad too. So this side, I have not done any, any concealer. And this side, I've done just concealer. So I'm going to finish up my other side. Mm -mm. Like I said, I just go in. I am quite generous with my concealer. And this concealer I will use all over my face. I don't discriminate. Um, because this is just, this is not a going out uh, look. This is not a photo shoot look, this is going to work and looking like a damn normal person look. That's what I'm going for. So I use the same concealer for all aspects of my life. All of my little spots. Uh, when I get to the end, I'm going to use the same concealer for my under eyes because, you know, I'm tired. I'm tired all the time. So we have under eye circles. That's life. All right, so this section of this side is looking pretty good. I'm gonna get a little bit over here. See, these are these are scars, so they're gonna be a little bit easier to cover, but I still wanna cover them, um, rather than being like an active uh, spot. And I, I don't know what people wanna call those. Um, but I've got some scarring. So I'll go in here with a nice flare. And then this bad boy up here. Yeah, we don't like you. Yeah. <clears throat> blend, blend, blend. Honestly, blending is the biggest thing that I've learned over the years. Um, I look back at photos of myself from, like, my early 20s, and uh, I cringe because... I was definitely, definitely not blending enough, and especially with this condition of dermatillomania. Um, blending is key. Blending is, you know, the be-all, end-all of good makeup. Um, yeah, I didn't like the coverage that I ended up with down here, so I just went in with a little bit of extra product and blend it out a little bit. I like to use a light touch. Um, because of the magnitude of the things that I'm covering, I don't want to use too much force because it removes too much of the product that I'm trying to use to get some coverage. Okay, so again, here I am. It's not perfect, um, and the blending at this stage doesn't even need to be perfect because we're going to go in with foundation now. I like this one, and I wish it had the label on it. It is the um, it is the acne fighting foundation. It does contain salicylic acid, so if you are sensitive to salicylic acid, you may want to look at a different product. Um, the flawless finish foundation that they have is okay. Um, I find it to be too sheer for the amount of full coverage that I that I want and that I like. So this is a little bit of a thicker formula, but again, salicylic acid. It was six dollars. I am not sure about the size of it, but 
like the the ounce ounces the ounces uh, but it's it lasts me a really long time and I really love it I'm going to be using um, my kabuki brush which is also elf it's a little dirty so please uh, forgive the dirtiness of my brush uh, this kabuki brush was six dollars and I love it I love it because it allows me to do that stippling action that I was talking about earlier because again I don't want to wipe I've had um, foundation brushes where you it's, it's a brush it's like a paintbrush you wipe it onto your skin and I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong but I cannot get that to not streak on my face and then I just I feel ridiculous and I don't want that so foundation I put a nice healthy amount onto my hand yeah because we're doing full face it's it's not a small amount dip the brush and begin and again like I said I do full face um, with the amount of blemishes and etc that I need to cover there's no point in me trying to do this uh, just like one section and then leave the rest of my face bare it's no matter how matchy matchy I get the shade of my foundation to my skin like it's still going to be obvious that part of my skin has makeup on it and part of it does not and that's not a good look I just don't want that so we are doing full face full face have I mentioned full face uh, and now the biggest thing for me is the jawline aka the line of demarcation so I like to bring mine down my neck a little bit and I even get my earlobe a little bit so it doesn't look like my ear is just glued on to a face that it's not supposed to be on because eh, why not <clears throat> now I have seen in some uh, makeup tutorials some people like get their foundation all over their lips like I can kind of see the the benefit of that because then you don't have any like ring around your lips. I've never had a problem with that personally. So <clears throat> Also, I don't wear a lot of lip product. So for me, I would just end up with foundation on my lips all day or just like having to try and wipe it off. Um Oh, I should stop and show you. So this is what I've got so far. I'm looking in my mirror up, up above you here. We're doing reasonable. Reasonable so far. So we're just going to go the other side. Now, on a day where I'm just doing this, and I've done this so many times for years with the same it's essentially the same technique and routine and most of the same products until until like this week I got this one and I really I really am liking this product it feels so nice on my skin there's almost no scent to it which is um, something that I really like because again I'm using so much product and such a variety of products that um, if everything is scented it just gets overwhelming like I, I don't want that just Stop scenting me. Stop it. So that's why I really like this one as well. No scent. All right. So we've got pretty much the lower half of my face. And I think we did one half of my forehead. <clears throat> now, one thing that I get sometimes is I have pets. I have two cats and a dog. And so sometimes... Um, I will find animal hair in my makeup on my face and I'm just like, why? Why? Why do you hate me? Um, one other tidbit that I like to do is I actually bring my foundation up into my hairline um, because that's going to prevent another line of demarcation. Okay. So animal hairs everywhere okay so I've done my first layer 
of foundation. Yes, first layer. So one trick that I've picked up over the years that I've never ever seen anyone reference in a, a tutorial video, which is why I stopped watching tutorial videos. Um, I like to give my first layer a little bit of dry time, not too long, 30, 45 seconds, um, just to give it a little bit of time to set. And then, I just need a smidge, I need a smidge more product. Um, I like to go in on my trouble areas with a really quick second layer. So like over here, I can still see a little bit. I like to go in very, very gently. Like we're still doing that tapping, stippling motion, but use a very gentle hand right now because we don't want to risk removing any of the product that we put on before, ruining all that hard work that we just did. I don't know why, but these scars have a hard time covering. They're scars. Why? Mm. They're just scars. So I like to go in like that. I got a little dude over here. Yeah. Okay. And then this asshole. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. So I'm going to go in again on my nose. And that's, this is just one more thing that I really like about this particular foundation from e.l.f. The coverage is super buildable. Like, you can start with a pretty sheer layer of product on your skin. And if, that, if that's good, then you're done. Yeah, hooray, you win. If it's not quite enough, go in with another layer. It doesn't cake. It doesn't look weird. I don't know. I really, really, really love it. Also, if Elf is looking for anyone to sponsor in the near future, dude, I have all of their products. I have so many Elf products. It's it's kind of uh, embarrassing. I I might need help, but I have I have everything. Okay, yeah, and I'm just right now I'm just blending out my neck some more. In my experience, you can you can never blend your neck too much. You can only blend your neck not enough. So let's be on the safe side. Right. So let's take a look now. Now, it's not going to be perfect just because of the nature of uh, dermatillomania, I think, is really what it is. But I'm feeling really good about this. I'm feeling good about this one. All right. So, again, we're going to let it dry just a little bit, just so that there's uh, less of a chance of us smearing or moving around any of that hard work we just did on our foundation because that would be sad <clears throat> next I have a powder it does say elf on it but they, this packaging is weird it's like very 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 lightly branded to say elf it is the prime and stay finishing powder my color is translucent fair light again because I'm pale AF so one weird thing about e.l.f. is these compacts used to come with one of these, and they don't anymore. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. So I bought I bought my own, like, generic ones at the store. I need a new one. This one's gross. Um, I don't use these very often anyway, especially when I'm at home. I like to use a fluff brush. This one is the Pointed Powder Brush by e.l.f. It's one of the black ones, so this was probably $3.00. The white handled brushes are usually a dollar. These ones are three dollars. The silver handled brushes are usually like six dollars. So um, I think there is a quality difference, of course. Uh, but I like the black ones. These ones, these ones have been really good. So I swirl, 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 swirl. And again, we're gonna do more of that tapping motion. Don't wipe your makeup. You're just gonna move it around. Now, again, a lot of the, tutori the tutorials that I've seen have people doing like a, a circular buffing motion. And I think that that is probably great for people who are not super, super relying on their makeup to stay exactly where they just put it. My makeup needs to stay exactly where I just put it. That's why I put it there. 
So if you are okay with your makeup just kind of floating around a little bit potentially, go for it. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This looks pretty good. Yeah. And then, again, I've got some under eye shenanigans going on. So I'm going back to my concealer, my e.l.f. HD concealer. This is the only concealer I have found that does not sink into uh, my fine lines under my eyes and look cakey and gross. So, yeah, we're going to keep using it. It's basically, it's, it was like finding the holy grail. I was so excited because I kept trying, you know, and then there was different formulas and uh, different consistencies um, of concealer that I was trying and just, I don't know, all of it, all of it was terrible. Now I do, I like to use my finger when I do this. So, and again, I'm probably breaking a bunch of beauty and makeup rules to do what I do, but I just like to blend out the whole under eye area. There we go. There we go. I feel a lot better um, to go out and face the day. And normally, if I was not, you know, explaining what I'm doing, this look would take me 10 to 15 minutes, start to finish. It does not take a long time for me to be able to do this. And this is just a basic look. So if I'm going to work, I'll probably put on some mascara. This is the e.l.f. 3-in-1 in very black. Probably very black. I wear, my mascara is always black. Yeah, very black. Uh, I really like this mascara, actually. It does a really good job. This mascara was $3. $3 at your local Target. People, get it. I love it. But if I was going to go out in the town, I might do my eyebrows with, oh, dude, damn it, I blinked too much. Uh, I might do my eyebrows with um, the e.l.f. eyebrow palette that I have. Uh, I use very dark because my hair is very dark. I might put on um, some color onto my eyelids, and for that I have a couple of e.l.f. palettes, including the Everyday Smoky, which is my favorite. It was $10. And I use that one all freaking time. And they have a really great eyelid primer as well for one or two dollars that I really like. It really helps to grab the makeup and make it stay and not crease throughout the day. So I really like that. But this is a this is a basic look that I will do if I'm going just to work, if I'm going on errands, like going to the grocery store or something like that. Uh, so that's, that's what I do. And I'll probably try to redo this video, um, maybe, and make it a little bit cleaner as a video. Again, I've never, never, ever done one of these before. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And any dermadillos out there, I hope that this may have helped, um, because I'm sure this technique can be used with other uh, brands of makeup. Uh, especially if you're using something higher quality, if you can afford that, absolutely go go for it. Um, uh, I just, I, I've been asked several times uh, how to do my makeup routine, um, and this was it. This was it. Yay. So, see ya.